Hi, Tyler from Inner Fidelity here. Today I'm going to talk about a pretty cool headphone. This is the Bayer Dynamic T51i. There's also a Bayer Dynamic T51p. The T51i has a remote control on the cable and is compatible with iOS devices, Apple iOS devices, and the P doesn't have a remote control on the cable and sells for $10 less. The I is $299 and the P is $289. Um, these headphone, this headphone, remember these two headphones came actually originated uh, with this headphone. This is a Bayer Dynamic uh, DT1350. This is sold in their professional line. This is a, another sealed on-ear headphone. It has a split headband that allows you uh, to have it really firm on your head and, and it has quite a bit of caliber pressure on your ears. This is a, intended as a DJ headphone um, and is mostly sold through their pro audio distribution channels. Um, I, I, I found actually, well originally this headphone came out and I kind of liked it. I liked it actually quite a bit um, at the time, sort of four years ago. And then they, they came out with the T50P, which was the consumer version of this headphone that looked like much like the T51i. Um, I. And the T50 I thought was a downgrade in sound from the DT1350, but when the T51P came out and I, I thought that was a better sounding headphone, and in fact, I, th I think it's a better sounding headphone than the DT1350, at least the 2001-ish model that I have. It wouldn't surprise me that they've improved it over the years, but um, I'll have to find out that at some other point. At any rate, um, the T51i is uh, this headphone right here. Um, has a, uh, adjustments uh, that you can see working on the inside. It's very much uh, apparent to all the bits and pieces and what they do. Uh, nice little gimbals. This is all metal construction here. Some plastics here and pleather on the ear pad and, and headband pads. I found it quite a comfortable headphone. Um, the caliper pressure is, is fairly light. The, the headphones themselves are fairly light. Uh, they uh, the the weight is so light that it really doesn't bother me at all at the top of my head and and I can wear them for quite long periods of time, so uh, they're pretty good that way, pretty good in isolation too uh, to the outside world as these kind of things go. At any rate, it's a cool little headphone. It has a 40 inch 50 inch long um, cable, which is really nice. Terminated in a 90 degree angle tip ring ring sleeve plug, just like that. Uh, a little three button uh, remote control here for your iOS devices, Apple iOS devices. It also comes with a uh, firm sided, it's not really hard side, but it's not just a fabric bag, but it is fabric firm sided carry case here, clamshell carry case, which is I, I think a, a nice accessory. This is a pretty nice little case actually. Um, at any rate, it's, it's all physically and styling and comfort and build quality. It's really, really nice. Uh, I like it a lot. Sound quality, it, it doesn't quite come up to snuff with some of the on-ear headphones I've heard in the last year or so, and things have gotten quite a bit better, but it's pretty good. Um, there's kind of a, a list of things that I can go through that I'll tell you what are wrong with it. And then in the end, I'll tell you that it actually sounds better than that list of things. But there's a pretty big bass boost of 10 dB, centered about 120 hertz. And it extends up to about 300 hertz. So the bass bleeds into the uh, mid-range sum and, it, and the bass hump at 10 dB is, is somewhat excessive. So there's this is a pretty... Uh, a bass heavy headphone. Uh, after that uh, bass comes back into the mid range, the mid range um, all the way up to about one and a half K or, or thereabouts uh, is actually downward tilting. So it's got a warm tilt to it. Um, so this is a, a, a perceptibly a fairly warm headphone. Um, then uh, in the treble, the transition in the treble is a little bit abrupt, uh, uh, somewhere in the presence region, and and the treble thereafter is remains basically flat. So the the curve goes downhill in, in a warm tilt till maybe a, a 2K, and then it kind of flattens out. So the headphone has a little bit 
more sparkle in it than some of these overly warm headphones I've heard in the past. So you do get some sparkle in the treble, but the uh, the treble response is a little grainy sounding. There's some uh, resonances and, and whatnot that kind of get in the way of it being really a, a, a clean, um, transparent treble response. So things do get smeared around a little bit. There is a little bit of an accentuation on 10K that gives it some sparkle. But at any rate, um, overall, it's a kind of a warm uh, sound, but and and with a little bit of sparkle in the treble, but there's no, never any hint of, um, of uh, stridency or piercingness or anything like that. This is, is a, 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 a warm but fairly well-behaved headphone. Um, other than it being a little sloppy and loose in the bass and, and a little bit um, indistinct in the treble with this graininess. Uh, it kind of reminds me of an old school um, upper mid-fi head-fi headphone uh, hi-fi sound, which is what I grew up with. So, and I tend to like warmish headphones anyway. So this headphone actually was uh, pretty pleasant for me to listen to in the long run. If I switched over to a really good neutral sounding pair of headphones, you could immediately hear, oh, okay, this is the way it should be. But, um, but nonetheless, once, you're, once my mind accommodated to these headphones, I was a pretty happy camper. So, um, so the Biodynamic uh, T51, I for iOS devices and P without the remote control for 289-ish is maybe a tad expensive, but I think you're getting a real solid build quality. And uh, if uh, you like a, a kind of a warm, uh, laid-back sound, um, they these will deliver that. Not going to go up on the wall of fame, just not really quite neutral enough. But um, I'll definitely recommend them to folks who, who like uh, warm-sounding headphones. Um, uh, because I, I I just love the look of them and and the feel so um, that's pretty cool. At any rate, warm sounding headphone, Biodynamic T51i. Get a chance to hear them sometime soon and you'll see what I mean. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.